YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to Bananas Epic Gaming. And today on Bananas Epic Gaming, we are going to be re ranking the Halloween movies. This will include Halloween Ends, because the review for that movie will come out after this one. So please be sure to like and subscribe, tap the little bell on the YouTube app so you guys never miss an upload. And here we go. Coming in in last place. No surprise, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Now, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, when it came out in 2009, uh, we went into it knowing that it's going to be like, not the sequel Halloween 2 that we got back in the day, but it's going to be Rob Zombie's image of a Halloween movie, because he got to make the remake, and he... Got the opportunity to make a Halloween Michael Myers movie the way he wanted. And I'm not a fan of a Michael Myers that talks. I'm not a fan of what the community calls him, Hobo Michael Myers. The only positive parts of this movie are Scout, Taylor Compton, Danielle Harris, and that's pretty much it. Tyler Main is a okay Michael Myers. Oh, and Brad De uh, Dorf, the guy that uh, plays Chucky, was in this movie. So we had a little Chucky crossover. This is not a Halloween Michael Myers movie that I would say to watch. I skip it and the remake when I do my Halloween watch alongs. Uh, I'm not going to say anything negative about it, other than I'm not a fan of it, and the only positive points that I talked about earlier were those three actors, and the deaths in this movie were too, were a little too much. Now on to the next Halloween movie. Okay, so coming up next is going to be Rob Zombie's Halloween. So, I try so hard to get this movie the benefit of the doubt but this movie is not my cup of tea Scout Taylor Compton and Danielle Harris and Brad Dorf are three of the only bright parts of this movie for me the two Halloween Rob Zombie movies in general Danielle Harris we know her because she played Jamie Lloyd in the Thorn trilogy in the first two movies and Scout Taylor Compton she was like labeled uh, like the next up and coming screen queen. And Brad is obviously Chucky. Overall, Rob Zombie's Halloween is a decent attempt at a remake, but we did not need to know like Michael Myers, his childhood backstory. That's one thing I was not a fan of. Now on to the next movie. And coming in next is going to be Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch is the only attempt of a movie without Michael Myers. And it did not do that well. Which is why Michael Myers came back in Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Uh, this is one that I skip because it is its own thing. If it's its own thing, nice horror movie. If you're looking at it as a part of a Halloween series, skip it. Just skip it. It's not a movie that you should watch if you are trying to watch the Michael Myers series. But if you want to watch a Halloween movie by its own that has a Halloween name on it, give this movie a try. Now on to the next movie. Okay, so now coming up next is going to be Halloween Ends. I'll explain why right now now Halloween ends I had high hopes for this movie I knew that they were gonna attempt to do something different but this movie it basically feels like Friday the 13th a new beginning because spoiler alert for this movie I'll give you five seconds three two one Michael Myers is hardly even in it the killer is Corey Cunningham and Michael Myers and Michael Myers 
he basically becomes into the movie's focal point in the last 10, 15 minutes when they go after the Lord. But I'm not going to completely crap on this movie, but I it didn't do it for me. The fact that this is the end of the Lori Strode saga with Jamie Lee Curtis is hurting because I believe they could have capitalized and did a few things different. Like have Michael be in it more and if we would have met Corey Cunningham in the 2018 movie and would have seen his step into darkness that way, I believe it would have been better with the audience and myself. Now on to the next movie. Coming in next, we're going to have Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. So Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers is the obvious sequel to Halloween 4. Halloween 4 was a box office success because Halloween 3 didn't have Michael and part 4 is called The Return of Michael Myers. We'll talk about that later on. Danielle Harris is the MVP in part 4 and part 5. I'm upset she wasn't in part 6. Donald Pleasance, he did a, another tremendous job as Dr. Loomis. Halloween 5 brought in the Thorn cult and they brought in the Man in Black. And Michael was in hiding or hibernation for a year. If my memory is correct, Halloween 5 got rushed into production because of the success of Halloween 4, and you can tell. Halloween 5 is not the worst, but it's not the best, and I've come to like it more as time's gone on. But that Halloween mask is not the best. Kills are decent. Michael expands his uh, weaponry. A scythe, a pitchfork, and scissors. Uh, hanging somebody. Halloween 5, if you like a good slasher, watch the Thorn Trilogy. Watch 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. And 7. Part 8, and eh, you need a good laugh, Part 8 as well. Now on to the next movie. Coming in next is going to be Halloween Kills. Now, Halloween Kills is a sequel to Halloween 2018 and the movie before Halloween ends. And it picks up right where Halloween 2018 ends. And we fo follow Lori to the hospital. Michael escapes the burning house, obliterates the Haddonfield fire department and Michael kills everybody on his way back to his home. This movie it is not that well liked. Yes it has a high body count but the people in this movie make some dumb decisions man. <laughs> like why would Michael come to a hospital asking for help? That led to a character killing himself because of a Haddonfield lynch mob. And everybody that was involved with that, they should have gotten what was coming to them sooner. I'm 50 50 on this movie. It's not the best, it's not the worst. But this is obviously so low on my list because. It doesn't have that much rewatch value to me. Allison, the lady that plays Allison, did a tremendous job. The actress that plays Lindsay, she's back. She did a tremendous job. And Lori Strode, like I said, she is sidelined for this movie. And this is like one of the best Michael Myers. This is Michael Myers that I've seen. Now on to the next movie. Coming up next is going to be Halloween 8, a.k.a. Halloween Resurrection. Now this movie, when it got announced, people were like, how are we going to do this? Because Michael got his head cut off. And they apparently had this entire plan from 
the moment H2O was done filming that Michael was going to swap places with somebody. And I, I'm okay with that. Yes, we all believe that Lori killed him for a few years, but Halloween 8, from start to finish, is a mess. But I like it. It had a good premise. It killed Lori Strode in the first 15 minutes. I think if they would have killed her off, maybe the middle of the movie, it would have been a different outcome for people. Michael Myers goes up against a bunch of college kids from a reality TV show that are filming a reality TV show in his home. And Buster Rhymes is in this. He... Eh. Uh, the actress that plays Sarah, Bianca, I think she did a tremendous job from start to finish. And yes, I know she can't scream, so her screams were dubbed, but she did good for what she had in front of her. Now on to the next movie. Coming up next is going to be Halloween 2. The original Halloween 2. Now Halloween 2, the original Halloween 2, this made Michael what we know today. It started the brother-sister storyline because we get confirmation that the brother and sister in this one. And it takes place basically in a hospital and look around heaven for a little bit because they're looking for Michael. Solid sequel. One of the better sequels in my mind, but I like the other ones that are ranked a little bit more. The next two, I can flip-flop them. So let's get to the next two. Halloween 2, tremendous. Watch it. It's one of the best horror movie sequels in my opinion, especially from that time frame. Alright, let's get to the next one. Coming up next is the theatrical version of Halloween 6. Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. This is Michael at his most ruthless. Michael gives no shits in this one. Yes, he has the help of the, the cult of Thorn and all that. And the evil of Thorn, and we get a little bit of backstory in Thorn, but we don't get that much backstory. The thing that hurts it for me is the fact that Danielle Harris, who plays Jamie Lloyd, did not get brought back, and she got replaced with another actress. Because when I hear Jamie Lloyd in a, in a Halloween movie, I think of Danielle Harris. And this is Paul Rudd's first movie, so there's that. Halloween 6 might not be the best of some people's, or it may not be the worst for some people, but to me, it's in the middle. Now on to the next movie. Coming up next is going to be Halloween 6, The Producer's Cut. I have these two back to back for a reason. Let me get into it right now. So Halloween 6, the producer's cut. This movie is more story driven compared to the theatrical version. And yes, I touched on Daniel Harris not being in it. But this is also Donald Pleasant's last movie. This is Donald Pleasant's last time playing Sam Lewis because he sadly passed away. Like right after they were done filming or like when they were in pre-production. So doing the entire reshoots, I think they had to have a stand-in. But Halloween 6, the producer's cut, we learn more about the cult of Thorn. We learn that Michael was the baby's father, who's the mother is his niece, which is disgusting. And this falls in the middle for me. I can easily flip flop between the theatrical version and Halloween 2, but Halloween 6 has a special place for me because it's one of the first ones I actually sat down and watched. Now on to the next movie. So coming in next is going to be Halloween 2018. Let's get into it. 
So Halloween 2018 is basically Halloween 2. They erase all the events after Halloween 1. And we see in Halloween Kills how Michael gets caught. And this entire movie is basically Lori coming face to face with Michael. And Michael escaping again. Lori ha having to deal with the demons of the past and she can't move on because he's still here. Halloween 2018. The highlight of this movie for me was Allison. It has some brutal kills. Jamie Lee Curtis did a phenomenal job in 2018. In my mind, Halloween 2018 is the best sequel for I mean, this new trilogy for the first one. Kills and Ends have nothing on this one. This one is fantastic from top to bottom. Now on to the next movie. Coming up next is going to be the original Halloween from 1978. I know that's going to get a lot of dislikes. Now Halloween from 1978, this is one of the best horror movies ever made. Arguably this should be top two. But I like 4 and 7 better. Because I grew up watching part 4. And I was alive to see part 7 in the theaters. But I didn't get to see it in the theaters. But Halloween 1978. From the score. The lighting. The camera shots. It's an all around perfect phenomenal movie. It still holds up to this day. And it is scary to this day. Halloween should be on everybody's watch list if you have not watched it. This kickstarted the slasher genre that we know today. Because if it wasn't for Halloween, we probably wouldn't have Scream. We wouldn't have all these other movies too. Halloween is one of the pillars of horror movies. And Michael Myers is Halloween. Now on to the next movie. And coming in in second place is going to be Halloween H2O 20 years later, aka Halloween 7. Now, Halloween H2O, this movie is one of the best horror movie sequels in my mind. Not that many movies can top this. Halloween H2O brought back to life the character of Lois Strode. So 4 through 6 never happened in this timeline. She faked her death. She goes into hiding. She has a son named John. She's the head of a boarding school in California. Michael finds out she's alive and he goes after her. He goes after John who just turned 17. Halloween is 2 well. Halloween 20 years later is a good anniversary film for a franchise. Not that many movies could do what this movie did. This movie came out during the Scream era, where Scream 1 and 2 were taking over the horror genre and all the Scream S movies. And they are watching Scream in this movie. But Halloween H2O, in my mind, is one Halloween movie everybody needs to watch. This is one of the best Halloween movies, hands down. Perfect. The kills are good. The story is decent. Lori is having trauma. Watch this movie. So this is what Halloween kills and ends should have been. It should have been on this level, in my mind. Because Halloween is one of my favorite franchises, and I will go to bat for Halloween, and I'll go to bat for Scream. But Halloween, it's too old. I've said this once, I'll say it again, it is one of the best horror movie sequels of all time. Now on to the obvious number one Halloween movie on my list. Okay, in first place is going to be Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Now Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. This was the first Halloween movie I got to watch as a little kid. And I fell in love with the genre. I fell in love with the series ever since. Danielle Harris, who we talked about before, 
this was her first movie, and this is the first movie that has the Cult of Thorn story. This goes from one, two, four, five, and six. That's the timeline for this movie. And Michael wakes up from a coma because he gets put in a coma after the explosion of Halloween 2. Finds out he has a niece who is Jamie Lord. He's played by Danielle Harris. He wakes up, kills the paramedics, and heads on to Haddonfield, leaving a trail of bodies on his way. Halloween 4, it has everything that you need. It's spooky, feeling, it has a good score, it has suspense, and it has some brutal kills. This is one of my favorite Michael Myers in the entire series. Out of all the actors that played him, Halloween 4 is Michael is one of my favorites. Danielle Harris did a tremendous job in this role. I hope that she gets the justice that she deserves. Give her another three-part story. Now that the Laurie Strode saga is done, let Danielle Harris come back, play Jamie Lord for another three movies, retcon everything, retcon part six, say that the state troopers came and got her inside the police station at the end of part five. Do that, and I guarantee you, a lot of people will be happy. Because a lot of people love Halloween 4. And would love to see them continue everything and kind of remake part 6 and put a nice little bow on it. Because she deserves to be able to play Jamie Lloyd and finish playing Jamie Lloyd in her terms. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Tap the little bell on my YouTube app so you guys never miss an upload. And I'm going to be doing a Halloween Ends review in my top 30 horror movies for this month's Halloween's videos. Take care.